I'm David Agro. I'm the artistic director of the festival. I also help um, as one of the organizers. You know, I help out with a number of things from promotions, outreach, uh, to helping train the actors that you see on festival day. There are a lot of theatrics that come alive on the festival day. What we actually do is we put together like a community theater production um, of Robin Hood that is uh, designed to unfold in the streets but also on the stages as well as be bolstered by improv bits uh, that happen throughout the day in the streets by our Shire cast. In the morning generally everything is alright, in the afternoon you know there's a little bit of drama and conflict and then by the end of the day um, there's a resolution. But then beyond that we populate the Shire with folks that you might see if you were to go to a medieval festival back in the day. You know, so we have like the cook, the baker, we have the tavern keeper, we have some wenches. Um, and each one of these characters um, have a story there of themselves that they're trying to bring to life. A lot of Renaissance festivals and medieval festivals, they kind of, they focus around the monarchies. Um, the kings and the queens of that day. Um, and with our festival, we decided to do something a little different. We were trying to you know, tell these stories from the perspective of the people. One of the places people would congregate um, in medieval and Renaissance periods were around these alehouses, these taverns, these pubs. Um, they were more than, you know, now we think of them as a place to go out and drink. They were a place where folks would go out and play games or be singing. Um, the idea is that there's this tavern, it's called the Mutton and Mead Tavern and Inn. And it's been nestled in the, the, the hills of England for centuries, um, passed down from generation to generation. And as a result, uh, history has kind of just rubbed up against it. Currently, the history that we're talking about is that legend of Robin Hood. You know, so uh, this, these hills that the, the, the tavern is nestled in are uh, the hills of Nottingham, which is a name we're all familiar from those stories of Robin Hood. Because of the way we've set up the Mutton and Me Tavern, you know, we could do other eras, you know, we could do Queen Elizabeth, we could, we could go back and do the Arthurian tales. Um, right now we're really committing to the story of Robin Hood, you know, there's a, there's a few more chapters to tell and I think for at least the next, you know, three or four years we'll be sticking with Robin Hood. We also have several stages throughout um, the grounds, which, you know, I'll continually call the Shire, um, and these we, we pack with a vast variety of um, of shows. We have some Celtic bands, we have some fight shows, what could be called as a variety and gesture show. We have, you know, the entertainment that's hidden in the stage. We also have a lot of entertainment just wandering the streets. The idea is that it's a feast for the senses. We have folks demonstrating everything from period cooking to textile arts um, to, um, you know, medieval uh, armored combat. We also have workshops throughout the day. So if someone's interested in trying their hand at the hammer, um, they can try some tinsmithing. The other thing we have is like 70 vendors. You know, so when, you, uh, when you're making wa your way through the festival, um, there's some really great stuff being sold. Everything from um, clothing, jewelry, glass work, all manner of items. And uh, what we tell folks is they can come and adorn themselves with gifts and you know, if they feel like it, adorn those, that, those folks that they care about. Um, you know, with some presence as well. Mutton and Mead is actually, you know, it's a festival, which is quite ambitious just in itself. Um, but it's also a benefit, not just for one organization, but uh, two. Um, there's the Montague Common Hall, which is formerly the Montague Grange, um, which we work on raising money for. Granges in these town halls are something that um, are very much a part of the history of New England. Um, and a lot of them are in some dire straits. Um, so we're working on raising money for this common hall. We're really proud, actually, to be helping raise money for uh, the Montague Common Hall. Um, we also are really proud for the to be, you know, working on raising money and also bringing in non-perishable items for the uh, the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts. One of the things that our festival is built on is collaborations with a number of different people, organizations, and nonprofits. We collaborate with the Brattleboro 4-H Archery Program. Um, and they run a little mini uh, fundraiser at our event, which helps them keep their archery programs going. One of the things that's core to our mission is trying to, you know, support and facilitate, you know, a lot of the great work that's being done in our community, um, both in the arts and elsewhere. So.